For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the college football 25 cheese. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a preview of what I think are going to be the 10 most overpowered teams to use in college football 25 when it comes out. I'm going to take into account things like the new ability system that they talked about, uh, the new wear and tear system, the campus IQ system, uh, the confidence and composure system, all that stuff, because there's going to be an entirely different way to play. So teams that have the better overall roster, the, the deeper roster, the roster that's filled with more seniors, or more, um, you know, just the older players that have been in the game longer uh, are going to all be higher rated based off the fact that those are probably going to be the most important things. But as always, this is just my thoughts. So if you guys have a different opinion, please make sure to let me know in the comment section if you think there's any teams that I left out. And I plan on doing more videos like this in the future. So if you want to see them, make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's go and get right into the video. Next up, we got Clemson, who's sure to be one of the top defensive teams in the entire game. We already got a look at their overall rating as well in the trailer, and they were 95 overall team. Their offense is led by Cade Klubnik, who's a former five-star recruit as well. Uh, they still have one of their better running backs in Phil Maffa, who was also shown quite a bit in the trailer, the deep dive trailer. And they have some pretty good receivers in tight end Jake Brinningstool. And they also have a good receiver returning in Tyler Brown, who's expected to be their number one receiver. But they're lacking a little bit on the receiving core. This team makes the list, though, based off the fact that they have one of the best defenses in the entire game, led by one of the best linebackers in the entire game, and Barrett Carter. And they have Peter Woods as one of the best returning defensive tackles as well to go along with TJ Parker at defensive end. And their secondary with RJ Mickens and quarterback Khalil Barnes is going to make this one of the best defensive teams in the entire game. Starting off at number 10, we have the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. To make this list, you almost have to have a good quarterback and Riley Leonard fits the bill as he has some pretty good weapons around him as well, led by speedy receiver Chris Mitchell and tight end Mitchell Evans, who's expected to be one of the best tight ends in the country. But where this team really shines is on defense with defensive tackle Howard Cross, the third edge RJ Oban, and the Nagurski winner from last year, Xavier Watts, all listed in the top 100 players in college football entering the 24th season. But quarterback Benjamin Morrison is probably going to be the best out of all of them, as he will surely be one of the highest rated quarterbacks in the entire game, giving Notre Dame one of the best defenses in college football 25. Next up at number 9, we got the reigning national champion Michigan Wolverines, who actually got to see their rating a little bit in the college gameplay deep dive trailer, where they had a 92 offense and a 92 defense with a 93 overall squad. Now, they lost some key players in the NFL and offense with Blake Corum and J.J. McCarthy to name a few, but they do have a former four-star recruit based off of ESPN's ratings in Alex Orgy, who should be one of the best dual-threat quarterbacks in the game as far as speed and as far as throw power, as well as cover athlete Donovan Edwards, who looks noticeably faster than everyone in the gameplay deep dive trailer making this what should be a run-heavy football team. And they will also have what might be the best tight end in the entire game in Colston Loveland, who is considered the best tight end in the country. But this team really shines on defense as well, as they might have the highest-rated defender in the entire game in Mason Graham, who will be paired with Kenneth Grant to make what will most likely be one of the best defensive tackle tandems in the entire game. And we'll also have Deshaun Barham, a linebacker who's a top-five linebacker in the country, and also likely to have the highest rated cornerback in the entire game in Will Johnson, who we already saw was confirmed to have the new ball hawk ability as he was highlighting the gameplay deep dive trailer as well. Next up at number eight, we got the Penn State Nittany Lions, who are led by a former five-star recruit at quarterback in Drew Aller, and one of the best running back duos in the country in Catron Allen and Nicholas Singleton, although the receiving core is a bit underwhelming after that. The defense is, however, once again led by a star edge in Abdul Carter and Danny Dennis Sutton, as well as what's expected to be a very solid secondary led by safeties Jalen Reed and Kevin Winston Jr., who's expected to be one of the top five safeties in the entire game, making this once again a very good team for ball control offense and stifling defense. Next up at number seven, we have the Missouri Tigers, who are led by the connection between Brady Cook and Luther Burden III, who will probably be the highest rated receiver in the entire game. But they have plenty of depth on offense with Theo Weiss Jr. at wide receiver and Marcus Carroll at running back as well. In all, this is sure to be one of the best offenses to use in the game with another deep receiving core, including Mookie Cooper and Marquise Johnson at wide receiver to give you plenty of options to keep the receivers fresh against the challenges of the new wear and tear system. The strength of their offense is passing the ball and the strength of their defense is probably 
defending the pass. With pass rushers like Johnny Walker coming off the edge as maybe the best defensive player, and they also recruited a five-star edge to play on the other side. With cornerbacks Toriano Pride as a former four-star recruit who transferred in, and a six-foot-two cornerback in Dalen Carnell who can play at any position in the secondary. Next up at number six, we got Ole Miss, led by quarterback Jackson Dart, and surrounded by receivers like Trey Harris, who should be one of the highest rated in the entire game, as well as Juice Wells. Ulysses Bentley is taking over at running back for Quayshawn Judkins, and that is a bit of a downgrade, but still a very good player. And Caden Prorsky is one of the best tight ends, giving this offense everything it needs to be one of the most complete in the entire game. On defense, they're pretty loaded as well with one of the best defensive lines in the entire game with Walter Nolan, who could easily become a first-round pick in 2025, Princely, Yuman, Milan, and Jared Ivory coming off the edge as this team will have one of the best defensive lines in the entire country. Next up at number five, we have the Alabama Crimson Tide. Quarterback is very important to make this list, especially this high, and Jalen Milrow is easily going to be one of the best and most athletic in the entire entire game. He also has some of the best offensive linemen around him with guard Tyler Bookett, Jaden Roberts, and Parker Brailsford giving him one of the best offensive lines in the entire game, but his weapons around him aren't necessarily on par as some of these other teams. On defense, though, Alabama is loaded as you would expect them to be, with Deontay Lawson coming off being named a semifinalist for the Buggest Award last year and will surely be one of the best linebackers in the game. Their best defensive player is probably safety Malache Moore, and they have a star-studded defensive line to continue to have one of the best defenses in the country. Next up at number four, we have the Oregon Ducks. Pretty much all of these elite teams are led by elite quarterbacks, and for Oregon, it's Dylan Gabriel, as having field general looks like one of the most important abilities to have in college football 25, and I'm sure that this veteran starter will have an elite version of that. They also had a former five-star recruit in Evan Stewart from Texas A&M to pair him with speedsters Tez Johnson, who will probably be one of the highest rated receivers in the entire game, to give them a very good passing attack. On defense, it should have one of the best cornerbacks in the game as well, with Jabbar Muhammad coming over from Washington, and defensive tackle Jamari Caldwell will probably be one of the highest rated interior defensive linemen as well. Coming in next, number three, we got Ohio State, as this team feels like it might have the best roster of the entire game, but their quarterback situation with Will Howard doesn't appear to be on par with some of the other teams on this list. So I have them third based off of that, but they might have the best weapons around him, starting with running back Quinshawn Judkins, who might be one of the highest rated players in the entire game, and his backup Travion Henderson, making it to the point where they probably don't have to pass the ball at all. They also typically have one of the best receiving cores and receiving programs in the nation, and this year they're led by Emeka Egbuka, as the program is basically wide receiver U. But the best player on the entire team might be Caleb Downs, who they nabbed from Alabama, to pair with cornerback Denzel Burke to make a very strong secondary. On the defensive line, they also have Tyleek Williams, who is one of the top five defensive tackles in the game, and former five-star recruit who's also a top five edge player in Jack Sawyer, as this team is loaded with potential first-round talent. Coming in at number two, we have Texas, who's going to be fighting for a national championship as well. Texas doesn't have just one cornerback in Quinn Ewers. They have two, although it remains to be seen what they're going to be calling Arch Manning since he didn't sign on to the game. They also have probably the highest-rated offensive lineman in the game in Calvin Banks, and one of the fastest and best receivers in the country in Isaiah Bond, who they got from Alabama, and C.J. Baxter, a running back, who is formerly the number one running back signed in 2023. Those four alone will make this one of the best offenses used in the entire game, but they also have the sixth best recruiting class, which includes four five-star commitments. On defense, they have plenty of talent as well, with defensive ends Ethan Burke and former ACC Defensive Player of the Year Trey Moore. And then last but not least, we have the Georgia Bulldogs, which are led by another top quarterback in Carson Beck. They also have the majority of the receivers returning with guys like 6'3", Colby Young, Dylan Bell, Oscar Delp, and Benjamin Urisic to replace Brock Bowers, along with Trevor Etienne, who is brother to Travis Etienne for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Georgia is also known for having a great defense, and this tradition should continue with defensive players like defensive back Malika Starts and edge defender Michael Williams rounding out, which should be probably the best roster in the entire game from top to bottom. So I'm going to go to my end of the video there. If you guys think that I left one of your favorite teams off, make sure to leave them in the comment section. We can talk about it. Other than that, if you want to see more videos that I made about College Football 25 coming out, I'll have them popping up on screen. So just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.